I'd like to start with a big thank you to George Thomas, who has again helped me out in understanding this Python programming problem. And just to recap what the problem is, um, if you are trying to sort a CSV file in Python and you're using the item getter method, then if you have a, um, an integer, if you have a mixture of strings and integers in your data, then unfortunately all of the data is interpreted as a string. So here we go. Here are the Paris Roubaix cycling race results for 2015 with John Degenkopf in first place and he wore bib number 11, that was his race number. And Steibar came second and his bib number was fifth and so on. So if we run this program, if I run this program and I choose uh, by name, no problem. Um, we've got reverse is true here. So it takes his names and uh, Z first through to A. OK, that's working OK. Now let's run it again. And this time I'm going to choose B for bib numbers. And you can see, unfortunately, um, 106, 11, 126. It hasn't. Uh, so you can le looking at that first number, uh, 11123556568. It's not seeing that this is. It's only reading that first digit because it's um, interpreting it as a string. So George has given us three ways of uh, improving this. If we look at this first method. Um, we are going to create a function that takes the row pulled out from the CSV file and um, insists on restructures the data. Uh, so with this CSV reader thing, it just pulls it all out as a string. And here we're going to create a, a structure to put the data into. Uh, we create an empty array and then uh, loop through the CSV reader and um, append, so stick onto the end of this empty array, um, the row, each row, which goes through the function convert to int. So it takes that string version of it and creates a uh, structured version of it where we have control of the data and now down here in this if else if sort choice b rather than referencing uh cycling data we're referencing the repaired version and we can still use this item getter so here we go i'm just going to run this one and i'm going to sort by b and we can see the speech marks have gone it's turned into a string and it's intelligently picked that out correctly hooray an alternative is, and you can see perhaps you could argue a bit shorter, um, this one is uh, going to, well, again, I think I only just fixed the uh, bib version of it. This one is going to create a function called find, find bib, and it takes the uh, second element, takes the 0, 1, 2, the bib column, and specifies it as an integer. And then rather than using the item getter, we are going to use our find bib. Now we, we can't we can't remember we can't do that to because um, we're not directly accessing the data, we're accessing an object. I think that's what George explained how George explained to me. Um, so here we have here we have a here we have a function that will take that object and convert the content of the object to a integer. Let's try that again. So this one is version two. And again, now you can see remember the distinction here. This has um, sorted it correctly but it's still interpreting it as a string okay it's still it sorted the data correctly but um, hasn't altered the data 
in when it's presented it. And this third version is slightly uh, simpler. It uses something called a lambda, which you should look up. A lambda is uh, a bit like a function. It's a type of function. It's a type of function. Um, it uh, puts the... I'm not going to explain what a lambda is. You're going to look that up. So it's a type of a function. It's a shorthand, and it, it basically you can see this is content of the function we had before, but will achieve the same results. So here we go. By B, and again. Okay, so there's three choices. There's the inline lambda, there's the function, and then there's the altering the data from the CSV file into a, another version in memory, which you've specified the uh, how the data's um, how the data types used. Okay, hope that helps.